welcome to Keys to Success, which is live on the Think Tech live streaming network series weekly on Thursdays at 11 a.m. We are your hosts. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome to today's show. The goal of this show is to provide professional and personal development tools and profound insights on how to achieve success in life, career, and or business. Dana Land, pop jazz vocalist, was our guest on our last show, and her words of wisdom can be accessed on Newman Consulting Services website, newmanconsultingservices.com, or our landing page, danelia.org. In Hawaii, we have what's called the brain drain. Hawaii's young people appear to be one of the state's leading exports, and Hawaii businesses are feeling the effects of this. Not only that, but Hawaii's unemployment rate in October of this year was 3.2% which is great for our community, but challenging for employers as there is a smaller pool of qualified workers. But there is help for employers in this area. The State Workforce Development Division offers funding for employers through the Employment Training Fund, referred to as ETF, that has helped hundreds of employers enhance their workers' skill sets. Employees can now translate their new skills into improving job performance, as well as increase their chances to future promotions and increase in pay. Eligible employers participate in the ETF program are able to receive tuition assistance for courses through their list of approved vendors. Currently, employers can receive 50% tuition assistance for ETF approved courses up to $250 with a $500 tuition cap. In 2017, the good news is that this is increasing to $400 with an $800 tuition cap. So if you would learn, like to learn more about the ETF program, please call 586-8877 or 596-0200 or go to the Hawaii Employer Training Fund program website, which is located at the laborhawaii.gov site. Joining us today in the studio as our honored guest is Sal Cavera, Vice President, Digital Technology, also known as DAP, Alarm System Technology. Sal on the Sal is back in he was on our show in July, but he's back now to share more of his uh, wisdom. Thank you for joining us, Sal. Oh, thanks for having me on your yeah, show. Great to have you on board I love board both again. of you. Yeah. <laughs> I get excited when I'm in your company. Yeah, you said there was so much that, we, that you talked about last time that was so yeah. valuable, and so you had so much more to say, so we said we have to have you back. Yeah, <laughs> I, I forgot what else I had to say. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want you to forget anything, okay? All right, All right Sal, we, you, we know that you are uh, truly a, a, an accomplished entrepreneur. And right. please share with our viewers, if you will, uh, some of the insight that you have in building a successful business. Some of the insight I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you got to wake up every day. One day at a time. You got to keep your eye on the goal. Okay. Keep your eye on the prize mm -hmm. and just do it and don't quit. All right. Well, you know, Sal, one of the things that we've talked about and, and when we spoke to you recently, you talked about the fact that you you received another Rolex for being uh, yes. for being the the most sales. Is that what it was, or what was yeah, it? for sales in a certain time period? Okay. And I went to New Orleans, not knowing to accept a Rolex. That was the farthest thing from my mind. Uh -huh. I was bringing a couple from Australia there to look at the business, uh -huh. the, the 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 alarm business, and uh, we had a general meeting and. and the guy, the president said that he had two Rolexes to give away, and he called the first guy, and I said, well, you know, boom, 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 right. clap hands for him. And then when he called me, I mean, I was like shocked. You know, I wake up every day and I work every day not to win anything, mm -hmm. but just to be the best I can be. Yeah. That's how, what how I do, that and, and that's just the byproduct of the end result of all the effort that I put in. And what we teach in our school is that you don't have to win every game but you have to give it a winning effort mm. and that winning effort will show up no matter what you do and it'll show up at times like you share with us right now you had no clue that you were going to be on it with a rolex but you had given it a winning effort and it paid off isn't that, this your third rolex that's my Sal? third rolex third rolex and you know even i'm, I'm not uh, even at your mature development age look at you you still 
performing. Yeah. I mean, it's just really fantastic. You know how to do it. Yeah, I'll be 75 February 1st. Wow. Okay. You and know we, how to do it. And we've made a pact. That fourth Rolex comes to me, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's on there. <laughs> we got it on tape. <laughs> yeah. well, right. When did you consider yourself a success? Never. Mm -hmm. the, the, the road to success is always under construction. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, you know, the road to failure is paved with good intentions. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, you, you, I don't feel like I'm successful, really. I mean, I'm in a better place than I was when I came to Hawaii yeah. and stuff. And I, si since I have came here and since I was living on the floor and only had $75 left in my pocket mm -hmm. to owning 12 properties free and clear, mm -hmm. six of them here and six of them in wow. Tampa, Whoa. I... I I feel the same yeah. as the day that I started. So oh, when did you have the vision to have six properties and be able to, you know, use the money that you earn to develop the retirement type of portfolio? Well, being an independent contractor, not working for the government, not, not working for the city and county, mm -hmm. not, not working for a big corporation with pension plans, mm -hmm. uh, I had to do some financial planning and have an exit plan for the future and mm -hmm. I I lived on very little and the monies that I made I took and I put it into properties mm -hmm. so you know I tell people you're working for your money mm -hmm. right now but you got to eventually turn the tables and get your money working for you would you say that again that's a tweetable quote <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> right. would you say that one more time absolutely you're working for your dollars mm -hmm. now right mm -hmm. So what you need to do is eventually take those dollars, turn the tables on them, and send those dollars to work. Right. My dollars are working hard. Okay. Well, you know, it's, so, it's interesting because we really feel that a successful retirement is a retirement where your money is working for you. So that's exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I could retire tomorrow and not change my lifestyle. Yeah, that's fantastic. What do you feel, Sal, uh, is the difference, if any, right now between achieving success uh, in your younger years as to what you're doing right now? Uh, there's no difference. Okay. There's no 30 years ago when I started to mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. If someone was starting a business, it takes the same effort, the same attitude, yeah. and the same don't quit. The people that make it are the people that don't quit. You know how many times I wanted to quit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we know because we feel the same way. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I'd go back in the next day, and, 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 you, and you look at all the people that yeah. depend on you and, yes. and, and, and look, look towards your leadership. Yes. I can't quit on them, mm -hmm. you know. Quit yeah. on myself, but not on them. Yeah. But what you just said is very profound and is very heartfelt. Uh, and and Zig, Zig, Zig Ziglar says pretty much the same thing. He's gone now, and we all love him, you know, and yeah, we wish him the best in his journey. Uh, if you help... You can have anything you want to have if you help enough people get what they want. Absolutely. And what you said was caring and sharing. Uh, you had a job, you had a career, then you created jobs. And when you create jobs, you have to help people. Mm -hmm. People depend on you. And like you said, you can't give up on them. Right. And that's, yeah. why, that's why we're here. Yeah. I didn't make all those sales. Mm -hmm. My people made all those sales. Mm -hmm. You know, we did it as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I love that. Another Rather, tweetable quote. <laughs> one more time, Sam. Teamwork makes, makes the, the dream, dream work. <laughs> what are the biggest challenges that you feel that, looking back, that you've experienced on your path on becoming the successful entrepreneur that you are? What, what are the biggest challenges? Yes. Looking back, what, what do you feel con comes to the forefront as, as the biggest challenges? Oh, just having the guts to go ahead and do it. Yeah. You know, just yeah. waking up every day and not even thinking of failure. Mm -hmm. Just uh, putting one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. You know, working 12 to 16 hours a day, day in and day out until you make it happen. Mm -hmm. I know if you put in constant effort and, and, and you're doing the right thing by people, mm -hmm. by your customers, eventually you'll win out. You know, I've gone out and I've worked, when I first started, made a sale by 1 o'clock and went home mm -hmm. and felt lousy. Mm -hmm. I've gone out and knocked on doors for 12 hours, didn't even get in the house and put on a demo. Mm -hmm. 
went home and felt like a million bucks. Mm -hmm. I didn't even make a sale or get in the house yeah. because I knew that day I gave it all I got. Yeah. The day I went home at one, I didn't give it all I got. And that taught me a lesson. Give everything you got on a daily basis or you're not giving nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Give it a winning effort. Every day. And, Every time. And how do you let go of the fear? The fear, you step into your fears and eventually they disappear. Fear, F-E-A-R, is false evidence appearing real. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when I first, when, when Kirby, when I first joined Kirby, I never got up and spoke in front of people. Mm -hmm. They pulled my name out of a fishbowl. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh my God, and it was like a hundred people in the audience, my, my, my peers, and I got to get up and speak to these people. Mm -hmm. My spine tightened up. I was shaking from head to toe. I got up there. And believe me, I flopped. Yeah. I couldn't even speak. <laughs> but I said, someday yeah. I'm going to get up and I'm going to speak in front of hundreds of people. And I've uh -huh. spoken in front of a thousand people yeah. at one time. Because you speak because from your heart. Because I speak from my heart and, and I stepped into my fears. Mm -hmm. you gotta, when, when you fear something, just keep doing it until the fear disappears. Mm -hmm. That, that's right. Absolutely. You yeah. have to believe, right? You got to believe. Okay. Well, that went really quick, didn't it? So <laughs> you're, we're um, we're going to take a short break. This is Keys to Success on the Think Tech Live Streaming Network series. We're talking with Sal Sabera, Vice President of DAT Digital Alarm Technology, regarding Keys to Success. My name is Danelia, D A N E L I A. And I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. We'll be back in a minute, so please stay tuned for more Keys to Success. Hi, this is uh, Jane Sugimura. I'm the co-host for Condo Insider, and we're on Think Tech Hawaii every Thursday at 3 o'clock, and we're here to talk about uh, condominium living and uh, issues that affect condominium residents and owners, and I hope you'll join us every week on Thursday. Aloha! Hi, I'm Kili'i Akina, president of the Grassroot Institute. I'd love you to join us every week, Mondays at 2 o'clock p.m. for Ehana Kako. Let's work together. We report every week on the good things going on in our state as well as the better things that can go on in the future. We have guests covering everything from the economy, the government, and society. See you Mondays on Ehanakako at 2 o'clock p.m. Until then, I'm Kili'i Akina. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. I hope you've been watching Think Tech Hawaii. But I'm here to invite you to watch me on Viva Hawaii every Monday at 3 p.m. I'm waiting for you. Mahalo. Aloha, how you doing? Welcome to Ibaichi Talk. Gorgo the Tech Star here. We're here every Friday from 1 o'clock till about 1.45, and we talk tech with many, many great guests. So I got uh, Andrew, the security guy, who helps me co-host, and I got Poppy Chulo, who comes in once in a while to, to help us through the show. So please come join Ibaichi Talk every Friday. Angus will be here, too. So remember, like we say at the end of every show, how you doing? Welcome back. This is Keys to Success of the Think Tech Live Streaming Network series. We encourage you to call our hotline at 415-871-2474 to join our conversation or tweet us at ThinkTechHI if you have any questions or comments. We've been talking with Sal Severa, Vice President of DAT, which is Digital Alarm Technology. My name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. Welcome back to the show. Sal. Yes, sir. Are you ready? It's good to be back. All right. <laughs> we'll take a deep breath and jump right back into yes. it. Yes. Okay. In your words, Sal, what is your opinion uh, when it comes to the qualities and skills that is necessary to succeed? Okay, that's a good question. First, you need a good moral compass. Mm. That's important. Then you need a positive attitude. Good people skills, very important. Mm. And to me, the most important thing is you need mental toughness. Uh, well, yeah. you know, if you so can't true. take it, you can't make it. Yeah. You got to be able to take it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. All right. <laughs> so, true. so, and to piggyback on that, Sal, so uh, what is uh, the one question that every entrepreneur should ask themselves? Am I doing the right thing? Am I, am I going after what I want? Am, am I going to be helping mm -hmm. the community? Am I going to be helping enough people to become successful? Because when you go into business, you're going to be hiring people, 
you know, you're going to be paying their salaries. Mm -hmm. They got family that depends on that income and yes. keeping your business going. You don't want to build a business that goes out of business. Yes. You want to build a business that is there for the long term. Yes. That endures. That endures. Mm -hmm. You know, I wake up every morning. I mean, I could retire mm -hmm. and not have to work mm -hmm. anymore and mm -hmm. still not, and, and travel and do whatever I want to do. But I do it. I wake up every morning because people are depending on me. When I go into that office and I see people come in and ask how the kids are, mm -hmm. we'll go into a one-year-old birthday in February for, for, for one of the people that work with us. And, and, and you know, someday they want to send their kids to college. Yes. So you got to make sure that you're there so that they can make some money. And what you just said was, was very powerful. You said people that work with us. Yeah. If your staff understand that they're working with you and not for you, that's a powerful statement. You know and what I tell them? I tell them I don't write your paycheck, you write mine. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Love and you it. know, sometimes um, with staff, uh, because we, you know, we manage uh, several businesses, and sometimes with staff, they really don't understand the amount of pressure that a business owner's ha owner has with the amount of expenses that occur. So, you know, um, you know, staff might say, oh, we had all this money come in this month, but they don't realize that most of it went out to pay salaries, to pay overhead, to pay, ex you know, all the expenses, rent and everything else, and all the taxes and everything that associated with the business. So it's, you know, it's, it's really interesting because I was talking with a business owner the other day and we determined that our staff get more vacation than we do. Yeah, <laughs> you know, they, so they, true. they do, yeah. Because as a, as a business owner, you're working 24-7. I mean, you might be in Dubai, uh, you might be in Machu Picchu, but you still think about the business and how yeah. things are going. Yeah. And it always pops into your mind to try to do things better, yeah. you know? Absolutely. When you were in South America fighting for your life, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you, were, you were trying to survive yeah. to come back here because <laughs> of the people that depend on you. That's exactly right. Oh, exactly that's right. a whole other story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you let the cat out of the bag. No one's supposed to know we were in South America <laughs> fighting for our lives. Okay? That's so funny. <laughs> Um, so, you know, one of the things that we talked a little bit about fear earlier, but I really want to touch more on this subject, you know, the fear of the unknown is just, you know, our fear can really, really hold us back. You know, do I, do I let go and move forward or do I stay where I am because of that fear? And, and I, I've been telling individuals, you know, you only live once. You have well, to go it. for it. I mean, you really have to go for it. If you don't succeed, you learn from the experience, but you will be always be okay. I uh -huh. mean, you will. I totally agree with you 100% yeah. because this is not a dress rehearsal. That's right. We don't get to do this life over again. That's right. So if you feel strong about something and you have passion for something, yeah. Just go ahead and do it. Yeah. Like the Nike slogan, just yeah, do just it. Just do it, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And those naysayers, which we call, you know, there's always somebody who wants to share with you why they think you shouldn't do this or that. The thing is what you just said, you focus on what you want and just go for it. Yeah. So what is the motto or advice that you live by? Uh, to me, the most important thing is attitude is everything. Mm -hmm. You got a positive attitude all the time. Life is great. And, and, and I choose to have a positive attitude 100% of the time. Talking about attitude, I got a little math question for you. Okay. Okay. A T T I T U D E. Uh -huh. A is the first letter in the alphabet. Uh -huh. T is the 20th letter in the alphabet. Okay. I believe U is the 21st. I is the 20. Uh, I is the ninth, D is the fourth, and E is the fifth. Now, if, if you take each one of those letters and you put a number to each one of those letters, mm -hmm. it equals 100. Oh, that's cool. That's so really cool. to me, attitude, yes. if you got a positive attitude, you got 100% 100 of the formula. That's great. That's it. And that's how I live by it. That's and, great. And what we, what we share to our, our team and uh, the individuals that go through our, our job readiness training course is that your attitude determines your altitude. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So is there anything else that you like to accomplish that you haven't accomplished? Uh, no, just wanting to see people become successful and happy 
and hopefully someday step into my shoes and take over my position and take over the responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I see people go out and succeed that came through my organization, mm -hmm. I'm more proud of them mm -hmm. than the money I make on them. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in promoting people to the road to success in Kirby, I've earned over a million dollars mm -hmm. just in promotions. Mm -hmm. and, and some of those people that I promoted built bigger businesses than mine. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it, I get more joy out of that mm -hmm. than, forget about the money. The money's just a byproduct of the end result. Oh, that's so true. Yeah. So oh, true. Um, so how, how do you maintain your daily motivation and inspiration despite all the setbacks and everything? I know you mentioned that, you know, just going in and seeing your staff and everything, but is there more? more? No, I, I jump out of bed every morning, happy as can be. I mean, it was a year in Kirby, like, I, did, I didn't take any salary mm -hmm. because business was on a downslope. Mm -hmm. But I walked into that office like we just had our best day and we didn't even have a sale yesterday. <laughs> you know, because they look to you, you're the example. They right. look to you for the leadership. Right. And then I hired people during that year that were ignorant to the conditions out there and they started selling and, and, and taking in older Kirby's that are a couple years old when I had veterans that would never even put a demo against an older something. Kirby mm -hmm. and, and created a whole new market right. and, and boom, you know. You know, Sal, I'm sorry, but we're out of time again. Uh, we're I, out of time, we'll have to wrap it up. John, would you like to share your uh, quote of the day? Yes, Tanelia and I would like to share a quote by Albert Einstein which says, Imagination is more important than knowledge. Sal Sabero's words of wisdom with regards to keys to, net to success can be found on Newman Consulting Services webpage, newmanconsultingservices.com and landing page, danelia.org. Thank you so, so much, Sal, for being a part of our, our team here today. Yeah, it we seemed really like it was five it. minutes. You sure? I know. It's just, I know. We it's can't just squeeze amazing, another ten it? minutes. All right. Okay. No. Think Tech <laughs> Keys to Success will be back on Thursday at 11 a.m. We ask that you please tune in again and ask your family and friends to do so as well. My we name is Danelia, D-A-N-E-L-I-A. -E and I'm the other half of the duo, John Newman. We thank you all. Aloha. Aloha. Aloha.